good afternoon students today we are going to discuss week 12 assignment 12 of education for sustainable development and this will be the last assignment for education for sustainable development so the first question is which of the following is true about sustainable leaders and the options are exist in the absence of human intervention can exist as a distinct entity like fresh water air or any living things like a fish metal ores rare earth elements petroleum are examples or all of the above the right answer for question number 1 is all of the above that is d is the right answer for question number 1 sustainable development goal to well advocates to reduce ecological footprint by we have four options changing uh, shifting towards a lesser resource if efficient economy uh, disposing toxic waste and pollutants changing the way we produce and consume goods resources and none of the above and the right answer for question number 2 is changing the way we produce and consume goods and resources now moving to question number 3 in order to prevent in order to support reform on green physical policy un un has stabilized the green physical policy network in partnership with the international policy fund international green fund international physical fund international monetary fund and the right answer is international monetary fund that is d is the right answer for question number 3 uh, and question number 2 c is the right answer that is changing the way we produce and consume goods and resources the right answer now moving to question number 4 responsible and sustainable consumption is necessary because it helps and support local commerce it takes care of the environment protects animals it saves money all of the above and the right answer for question number 4 is all of the above now moving to question number 5 responsible consumption leads to three r's which of the following is not a component of it reduce recycle and reuse are the three components of three r's so reimburse is not the right answer so reimburse is d is the right answer for question number 4 that is reimburse the technique of satyagraha of gandhi that carries the means to combat many social and environmental threats be it climate change or natural resource depletion essentially stands for non violent protest that is d is the right answer for question number 6 non violent pro violent protest moving to question number 7 which of the following statement is false regarding education for international understanding a c is the right for education for international understanding when it comes to the false statement that children should be told from the very early age that the whole world is his family is the right statement for the in education for in international understanding but here the statement has been changed that is children should be told from a very early age that the whole world is fragmented and only his own country his family so this is the right answer for question number 7 strategic partnership can be classified into the following except that is equity equity strategic alliance individual alliance non equity strategic alliance or joint venture strategic partnership can be classified into following except that is equality equity strategic alliance that is b is the right answer for question number 8 now moving to question number 9 which of the following is not one of the impact of happiness on an individual impact which one which of the following is not one of the impact of happiness impact of happiness on an individual lower stress reduces a campaigns lower immunity lower probability of diseases lower immunity that is c lower immunity now moving to question number 10 dash refers to being present and attentive purposefully and non judgmentally in the moment that is resilience happiness mindfulness and flourish flourishing so mindfulness c is the right answer for question number 10 hope you will submit your assignment and hope you have scored good marks in your assignment best of luck for your upcoming exam thanks a lot to all